117 Minecraft brought us a whole lot of new blocks to play with, including pointed dripstone and dripstone. And today we're going to have a look at an automated pointed dripstone farm. The first thing you're going to want to do is a collection system, which I've already put down. And then over the top of that, we're going to get a glazed terracotta rectangle 11 by 20 long. We're then going to go into each of the corners and build up by 10 blocks. And once we've gotten up that those corner posts we're going to fill it in and make it something like a box just like you're seeing on screen that is going to be an area of 13 by 22. next thing we're going to do is put in two flying machines one upside down and one the right way up i will put a link in the description to my video on sweeper flying machines that's going to be how we are harvesting and as you can see i'm putting glass on the ends of this machine so that it doesn't stick to walls that we'll be putting in later on this side, I'm going to accidentally pop that uh, observer there. We don't want that observer. That's just going to be a solid block. And uh, we're going to run an observer line here into a repeater set to four ticks. This is going to end up being our trigger mechanism for when the dripstone is long enough. Coming to the other end of the farm, we want to put two immovable objects to act as the stoppers for the sweepers, as you can see there. And we're going to set a bounce back system over here just like that. The next thing we need to do is put in the dripstone blocks for the roof. And this is what's gonna make the dripstone end up growing with the pointed dripstone underneath. Now this one, this is quite an easy one to get. We can pick it up from stonemasons at, I believe, master level. It's the pointed dripstone that will be a little bit more difficult, but once you have one, you can keep growing more. We're gonna head on underneath here now, and you can do this from standing on the floor, which is a benefit of the height. And we're just gonna put in all of the farmable location, some dripstone. And as I said, if you can only find a couple to begin with, they do grow and you can start to increase your collection as you go. Next, I'm going to enclose this whole thing in a wall and that's going to help us on the collection front. It's going to make sure that everything when it's getting bashed around is all staying where it can be picked up by a collection system. But on the walls, I'm just going to make sure that I'm using some glazed terracotta or you could use leaves, anything that slime blocks won't stick to, just where it would otherwise touch the walls. Now, once you've got the whole space enclosed, it's going to be time to head on to the roof and flood the whole place. And that's what's gonna allow the pointed dripstone to grow. I'm gonna turn the tick speed up here so you can have a look at how it works. And just like that, what it's going to do is it's going to detect that the observer is going to detect the growth and it's going to send our dripstone all the way across. Now I decided just because of the random growth rates, I ended up popping another dripstone activator here or observer activator on the opposite side. It's exactly the same as the first, an observer, redstone dust. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I do hope that you found use for this and I will catch you all in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't already and check out my SMP content on channel 64.